this is Tracy with the VBS team. We're here talking about weekend VBS. A main focus of your set is an impressive lighthouse. We're going to teach you step by step how to make it. Let's get started. For these instructions, we're working with a 6 foot base and a 12 foot tall lighthouse. But you can make your lighthouse as big or as small as you need for your set. First, we're going to start off with two 4 by 8 foot sheets of plywood. Lay the plywood sheets side by side on the ground. Using a few extra pieces of scrap wood and screws, attach the two sheets together at their steam. This way, the sheets won't shift while you're drawing on them. Now we're going to attach a screw to one of the sheets at the approximate location of the middle of the base of your lighthouse. Now, attach a pencil or marker to a string that is the length of the radius of the base of your lighthouse. Our outer base diameter is 6 foot, so our string is 3 foot long. Hold the string taut and draw your circle. Repeat this process, shortening your string to make two smaller rings inside the bigger ring. Now, cut out the rings with a saber or jigsaw. For our lighthouse, our outer ring diameters were 6 foot, 53 and a half inches, and 29 and a half inches. Now it's time to prepare the 2x2 two two studs that will serve as the lighthouse upright structure. We use 10 8 foot tall 2x2s two to get maximum height, but you can make yours as tall or as short as you need. We positioned our 2x2s two two every 18 inches from the top medium size circle and every 23 inches on our base. We also trim the edges of our 2x2s two at 15 degree angles so the structure angles in as it gets taller and matches up to the edges of the medium circle at the top. Attach the studs to the bottom and top circles by screwing from the top and bottom into the circles and studs. Make sure the outside edges of the studs are flush with the outer ring edges. Once all your studs are attached at the top and bottom, attach two 2x2s two two diagonally in an X in the middle to add structural support. Now it's time to add masonite sheeting to the outer framework of your lighthouse. To cover our large structure, we needed five 4x8 foot sheets of masonite. Each sheet is trimmed with a 33 and a half inch top and a 46 inch wide base. You won't paint your panels until your lighthouse is complete to get the stripes to line up perfectly. You see paint on ours because we took it apart to show you these instructions. While a helper holds the masonite sheeting up to the center of an upright, use screws to attach them. You'll need to attach the last piece to the same upright, so only cover half of the upright with your first piece of masonite. Use screws to attach the masonite to the uprights wherever necessary. We left off our final piece of masonite so we could have access to the middle to install our top structure. The top structure of your lighthouse is made up of the smaller circle you already cut out, which will serve as your base, and one more circle you need to cut out from the top that will allow the 2x2 two two supports to stand upright. Ours has an outside diameter of 38 inches. We used eight 2x2s two two cut to a length of 3 feet as our uprights. They're positioned 11 inches apart, measured from center to center. Next, you'll need to attach three or four flat brackets to your smaller circle, which will allow it to sit in the top circle of your lighthouse base. We thought it'd be fun to add a light to our lighthouse, so we added a dowel to hang a rotating light. We also added painted masonite strips to the top structure for authenticity. Because these are purely cosmetic, you could also use cardboard. Poise the top structure on top of your base and use screws to attach the brackets to the base. We use some metal garden fencing around the top. And there you have it, your amazing weekend VBS lighthouse. 